Hello friends, welcome to the session on HTML. In this session, we will discuss what we mean by HTML. What are the features that are associated with HTML? And how HTML can be used in various applications. So friends, as you know, that you are viewing this session on my YouTube channel. And you can subscribe to the channel so that you can watch many other educational videos on the various topics of the subjects of electronics and computer science. So let us start the session with the question, what we mean by HTML. HTML is a short word for the long word, hypertext markup language. So H that will stand for the hyper, T that will stand for text, M that will stand for markup, and L that will stand for language. So this is a, uh, you can say, just like other programming language. Computer has many programming languages. So HTML is also a programming language where we can give instructions to the computer. But this programming language is different from the other programming languages. You will find that this is normally used for the proper display of the text only, which we call as a web page. And otherwise, uh, this language is not used as a conventional programming language. So this is a simple type of language compared to any other high level language. There was a physicist, uh, Tim Berners Lee, and he actually wrote this HTML. So initially he proposed a system so that we can share the documents with each other over the net. And he proposed HTML and he also wrote the web browser. So web browser is required in order to execute the pages of HTML. So in 1990, it was proposed. And then thereafter, we will find that the internet has been explored like anything a large number of websites are available and every website contain web pages and we can make an access to these web pages through our mobile phones or through our computers or through our tablets. So initially it was a version 1.0, then we have a version 2.0, then the version 3 was available in 1997, then we have a version 4.0. And recently, we can say that we can have a HTML version called as 5.0. So HTML, you can say it's a kind of a technology. And this technology is being used for the World Wide Web, or in short, we call it as a WWW. So web browser will receive the HTML documents from the web server, and then it will render it into the multimedia web pages. HTML makes the use of CSS cascading style sheets, and it also makes use of some other uh, scripting languages such as JavaScript and JavaScript. So we need to understand what we mean by the hypertext because there is a difference between text and hypertext. Hypertext, you can say it is an ordinary text, but it has been dressed with some extra features. So the features such as formatting for the text, adding images or multimedia, or even adding links to the documents. All these features can be added into the ordinary text. And such text is being called as a hypertext. Markup, you can say it is a process of taking ordinary text and then we can add some extra symbol into it. So for example, whenever an editor makes an editing of the pages, then he adds some proofreading symbols. So that is also a markup process. So whenever we go on creating the web pages, then we need to make the use of uh, several symbols that are permitted in HTML. And by using these symbols, we can do the process of markup. So you can say that every symbol that is being added in the HTML is like a command. So every programming language consists of certain commands or even operating system has some commands. So symbols that are used in HTML are like the commands. And they will tell the browser how exactly the text can be displayed. HTML, as I said, it is being used for building the web pages. 
So whenever you want to create any web page of your own, or uh, of your college or for any organization, so that the people or all the world can make an access to it, then for the creation of such web pages, you need to know the HTML. HTML document you can create, and whenever you want to create a HTML document or whenever you want to write HTML code, then what you need is only the text editor. So other softwares are not required. So any text editor which are freely available with the operating systems such as Notepad or some other uh, editors such as Sublime Text, or you can say there are several uh, editors available online. Many of them are free. So you can make the use of such editors in order to create the HTML code. So HTML will not cost anything for its use. So there is no cost involved. It is freely available. There are no expensive licenses that you need to buy whenever you want to create any HTML document. Also, you will find that learning in HTML is quite easy. Programming languages are a bit difficult, but since it is being used, HTML is being used only for the purpose of creating the web pages. It is simple. Interactive web pages uh, cannot be built by HTML, but by making some additional tools, it is possible that you can uh, create the interactive web page also. HTML documents, uh, you can put it on computer, you can put it on printer, you can put it on fax machine, you can see it on TV set, you can digital watches, or even on mobiles also, or even on phone also, you can hear the web page. HTML web page can be accessed by the internet tools, and these tools are being called as web browsers. So there are several web browsers available, such as Google Chrome, Mozilla Firefox, Microsoft Internet Explorer, or Apple Safari. So a large number of web browsers are available, and most of the web browsers are available with the operating systems, and you can make the use of these web browsers whenever you want to make an access to the HTML document. World Wide Web, we can say it's a connection of large number of web pages. So there is a huge variety of web page. For example, we can have a personal web page. We can have a business web page. We can have a directory. Even a search engine itself is also a kind of a web page. And publishing, whenever we publish anything, it means we are transferring the information on the server. So whenever we transfer the information on the server, then the people all over the world can make an access to it. The web, you can say, is a platform independent. So it doesn't depend upon the platform. What type of hardware or what type of uh, things you are making the use in order to access the web page, you will find that it is independent. So any particular machine corporation is not required. Web page is also graphical in nature. So it will support the multimedia, such as sound, graphics, video. All these things can be easily added into the web pages. Every web page will have a certain address. Like we have a home and home has a certain address. So similarly, the web page also will have a certain address and it is being called as a universal resource locator or URL. So for example, we can have the URL such as https colon double slash www.microsoft.com. So https colon double slash is called as a protocol. So HTTP that will stand for hypertext transfer protocol. So protocol is a set of rules and these rules need to be obeyed whenever you want to communicate between server and the client machine. So a certain protocol need to be followed in order to make an access to the information. Microsoft is a domain name. Sometimes it is called as IP or internet protocol. And it is normally a kind of a number. The number is something like this, 203.130.127.13. So even if we write in words, actually it is being internally represented in the form of numbers. Dot com, you can say it is a commercial domain type. So some other domain types are also available. So for example, if you have a web page for educational institutions, you can make the use of .edu. If it is a government entity, you can make the use of .goe. If it is a non-profit organization, you can make the use of .org. Or if it is network access provided, 
then you can make the use of .NET. So our purpose for these sessions is that we will understand what HTML is, how we can create or we can write some simple HTML code so that we can create the different types of web pages by using HTML. So thank you, friends, for moving this session.